Hey everybody, my name is Jim Wallace and I am the engineering manager for the Insights team and today I want to talk to you about the new monitoring solution from DigitalOcean. And I want to do this through the lens of a real life DigitalOcean customer. And so, meet Jim. So Jim, he works as developer at a local cloud provider here in New York City. He loves building startups to solve his first world problems. He loves using DigitalOcean because it's simple. There's great community documentation. And because he has no successful startups, he's a little price conscious. So today, Jim's uh, first world problem that he's trying to solve is that sometimes Jim's friends will say that they're going to go do something on a Facebook invite and then all cancel at the last minute and Jim is left buying bottle service for only four people. So Jim has created Flakely. Flakely is a commitment service where you put out an event and you say what the minimum number of people is that you have and they all sign up with a credit card and when you get enough people to do the event then everybody gets charged and it's all good. And so today is the big day. Jim has released Flakely out to the public and suddenly realizes that he has no idea if he's even a unicorn yet because he doesn't have any insight into like what's going on with his service that's been deployed to DigitalOcean. He probably needs some monitoring. And so what we're looking at here is all of these great tutorials about how to set up monitoring on your droplets. Wow, there are a lot of them. Series one of two, <laughs> series two of two, okay. Uh, this seems pretty complicated, but as of today, there's a new monitoring solution from DigitalOcean. And so all we have to do to monitor Flakely is just add a few monitors. Great, prompts me to create an alert policy. We've already installed the agent on the Flakely droplet, and so we're ready to get started with creating some. So what are some good scenarios? Well, let's see. CPU is above, let's say 80% for five minutes. Then this might be an indication that I need to scale something. So this is gonna be unicorn CPU. And we're gonna apply it to Flakely. Great. Let's see, what else do we got here? Ah, memory utilization. So if we're using a lot of our memory, that's also another sign that we need to scale. So this is gonna be unicorn memory. Awesome. Let's see what else. Ah, bandwidth inbound. So now this is interesting because if you're getting a lot of bandwidth inbound, for a short amount of time or even a long amount of time, that might actually indicate like a security problem. So this is like DDoS. I want to be alerted when those things happen. What's next? So the same thing is true for memory outbound or bandwidth outbound. We can see that if we have a lot of bandwidth outbound but not a lot of bandwidth inbound, maybe our box has been compromised and is actually being used to send spam messages or participate in a DDoX attack. And so this is like owned, probably. Okay, I think that with these alert policies set up, that we're in a pretty good position to know when it's time to scale because our service is just super, super popular. Okay, so we see that Flakely has gotten some alerts for high CPU, which makes me think that uh, it's time to start thinking about scaling. So even though Jim isn't a unicorn yet, he wants to be ready for when that, you know, the site really pops. And so he's gone ahead and created additional infrastructure, a load balancer, a couple of database servers to separate it, and a production web tier to separate the user interface uh, application workload from the data layer. And so we're just going to go ahead and create one more of the web tiers. Okay, all of these look good. Right here, we can just check a box and enable monitoring. It is that simple to set all of this up. So this is going to be prod web 02, and we're going to tag it production. Create. Great. Now, while that's getting set up, let's go ahead and add a monitor that can cover all of those by simply just typing in the production tag. Now, everything tagged with production will have this CPU policy on it in production. Boom. And that is how easy it is to cover all, all of your droplets. 
Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the product.